Good morning everyone, good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking members free. If you are new, on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. Now, when it comes to empaths, we have got the unevolved empath, and then we have got the evolved empath. So the evolved empath is a person who knows, is that empath who knows, who has got very strong uh, boundaries, and defensive mechanisms, you know what I mean? So it's, a, it's an empath who knows who they are. They have come to that sense of self and they know who they are. So they normally evolve to become super empaths. But when you come to the empaths who are, un, who are unevolved, so those are the empaths who are usually trying to save the world, you know? So they, the, the empaths, those, those empaths, because they, have, they are not really aware of who they are, so normally what they do, they'll go around and they try to save the whole world. So they will save everything in their way. It doesn't matter when they, any, any, any person they meet on their way. And that person needs help, they are going to stand, they are, they are going to get in, they are going to jump in and help. But you see the problem is a lot of empaths, they have ended up with narcissists. A lot of empaths, they have ended up with toxic individuals. For some reason. I've seen on my page recently there was a, there was a, there was a comment I saw. Somebody was saying, "Oh, why is it that always uh, when I when I left those individuals, it looks like they're just prospering. They they just they, they just keep on climbing. They are getting better, and it's, it looks like I'm the one here suffering. Someone down here suffering. You see, empaths. I want you to I want you to know something, empaths. When you're dealing with toxic individuals, those individuals they don't care about you." They don't give a damn about you. The only thing they want is to take from you. The only thing they want is to steal from you. You know what I mean? So because of you guys, most of the times, the, the unevolved empath, what happens is that the unevolved empath, what they do, they spend a significant, a significant amount of time during their lives saving particular individuals. But a lot of those individuals, a lot of those individuals you're saving, because I've seen, I've, I've seen this thing over and over again, you know, during coaching sessions, I've seen it many times on my comments, even my, my own life experience as well. It has been in that kind of a way. Most of these toxic individuals, I can guarantee you, the, the reason why you end up with toxic individuals, because normally the empaths, when they come in, they play the part of the lifesaver. You know, they are finding those individuals, they're drowning. A lot of those individuals, they are suffocating. The time you meet those toxic individuals, I can guarantee you guys, the first thing they are going to explain to you is that they, are, they have a bill. They have got very, very uh, massive bills that they have got to pay. And they don't know how to pay them. Sometimes you see them, they have not paid their house rent. They haven't handled their car financing. They have missed, they have missed a couple of payments. You know, the banks are after their bucks. A lot of those individuals, I can guarantee you guys, that the very moment you walk into their lives and you become a lifesaver, you are actually interrupting their karma. Those individuals, most of the times, they have stolen, they have already stolen from people before you. They have disorganized people before you. They have stolen people. They have stolen from people before you. And most of the times, the time when you meet them, they are actually paying for those things they have taken from from many different kinds of individuals. So they are already paying, and they are actually facing their karma, their own karma, you know? When I look back in time, I will say a lot of people I've met along my journey. So many people I've met along my journey. When I was still in that life-saving uh, situation where I, was, where I was trying to save a lot, of, a lot of individuals along my way, I met a lot of them, and the first thing they would tell me is that there was some one or two things, problem they were trying to solve by themselves. There was something with their bills. There was something with their... Um, they were trying to pay their bills. They were late. They were behind on their bills. The banks were trying to repossess their houses, their mortgages. 
a lot of problems. Guys, we can go on and on and on and on. Even sometimes we can talk about health issues. In this video, I want to let you know chosen ones. Most of the times, the, the people that you are getting involved with, the reason why you see them suffering is because they have already destroyed people before you and now, in that moment when you come in, they are now paying that karma. They are paying for the karma. They are paying their karma. The karma hits them back in the face. I remember one time I did a video and I told you guys, don't worry about those things of revenging narcissists and going around and running, running behind their back. The karma is going to follow them anyway, you know? Whatever they do to you, chosen ones, let me tell you something. The karma is always going to get back to them. It doesn't matter what you try to do. And the karma always comes in so many different kinds of ways. That's why a lot of people, they're impatient. I'll see them a lot. I'll see them many times on my channel. They'll, they'll be like, I've been waiting for this karma to happen. It's already two years. You know, you cannot wait for karma for two years, guys. You cannot wait for somebody to get their karma in two years' time. The only thing what you have to do is just to keep on moving and ignore them like they don't exist. And that is exactly when the karma is going to start kicking back at them. You don't have to be there. You don't have to see it. So those individuals, what they do, those toxic individuals, what they do normally, because a lot, a lot of these toxic individuals, they don't know how to stay by themselves. They don't know how to stay independently. They don't know how to survive on their own. So a lot of times what they do now, You see a lot of them on those social media sites, you know what I mean? They are looking for a boyfriend who is, uh, you know, they have got their own home, uh, somebody who drives, you know. They, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll even be specific about the people they want. They want somebody who is driving, they want somebody who is uh, working in this kind of place, you know. Because they know that they're not, they are not only looking for relationships, they are actually looking for help. A lot of those, those toxic individuals, when you see them, a lot of them, because a lot of them, a lot of them eventually they're on those sites. The first thing what you're going to see is the things that they're looking for. They are going to ask for the things that they don't even possess themselves. I want a man who, who has this, who has that, who has this, who has that. They like a woman who has this, who has that, who has this, who has that. But when you look at them, they have nothing to offer. <laughs> when you look at the people asking for those kind of qualities, they have got nothing to offer. And behind closed doors, I can guarantee you guys, they are just looking for help. Those individuals, they are drowning. They are actually suffocating. They are facing their own camera for the things they have done to the, previous, to, to the previous individuals before you. And you, because you're a good Samaritan, you come in their lives. Oh, honey, what do you want to do? You know, I can see you haven't paid your bills for last month. Let's do that. You know. I can see this and this is wrong. Let's do that. Let's fix this. Let's fix that. You become the fixers. And now you start to fix and repair those individuals and stop them from facing their own karma. There is many guys around you guys, I can guarantee you this, chosen ones. There is many people around you. They have got a long chain of victims behind you. Before you, they have got a long chain of victims. When you look back at all, all of those guys you've been dealing with, on this page normally we're talking about narcissism, and you can go back in circles, and you'll see a lot of people that have been involved with, they have destroyed a lot of people, a lot of people behind you, before you. And that destruction pattern has got to go on. So what they do now, when you leave them, in that moment, if they don't have a partner or some, somebody to cover that to cover that gap, you know, to cover up that gap immediately, to save them from suffocating and drowning, if they don't have somebody, you will see them, they are going to suffer unexplain, unexplain, unexplainable amounts of karma. They are going to struggle. Most of them, you see them, they lock themselves in the house and they'll be sleeping all day. They can't even go to work. A lot of these nurses, guys, most of you guys don't understand nurses. A lot of these nurses, let me tell you something. When you leave those individuals, you will see them even sometimes. They are going to lock themselves in the house. They cannot go to work. They are going to sleep in the... They are, they are going to lock themselves in the room. For two, three days. They can't go to work. And you, if anybody ever finds them in their houses and somebody comes by chance, they will find them decomposing. Because a lot of these people, a lot of these toxic individuals, guys, what you have to understand, a lot of these toxic individuals around the world, a lot of them are energy vampires. They are just sucking off people's fuel. They are just sucking up people's energy. They are feeding off people's energy. They cannot generate their own energy, so they have got to use other people to feed, to live, to survive, and to thrive. And without people like empaths, they cannot thrive because they are too toxic 
to go around and date and go on and date another toxic individuals because they don't get anything from them. So a lot of times, the ones, you meet people and you feel sorry for them. Oh, why are these guys suffering? Why are they, you know, why are they, uh, what is going on with them? And you, you will see them, a lot of them, they'll even start crying in front of you. They'll pretend they are crying, you know, they are, they are very, they're feeling very sad about their situation. They'll be crying, they'll be feeling very, you know. And the only thing you don't know is that those are energy vampires. The only thing what they are doing now they are crying in front of you because they know you are an empath. So you are going to feel sorry for them. And then for some reason you are going to take them in. You are going to somehow, you know, feel for them, you know. Get on with them. And try to help them. Try to fix them. And then eventually they are going to offer you love in return. Those individuals, they are suffocating. Guys, if you want to know what I'm talking about, I want you to look back in time. I want you to look back in time and I want you to see a lot of people you have been involved with, a lot of people that you have been dating, a lot of these toxic individuals, especially these narcissists. I want you to look back in time and you're going to notice that a lot of them they have got a lot of them they have got a lot of problems the first thing they are going to tell you i can i can guarantee you if you haven't seen that already you should have you could have missed it the first thing they will tell you is that there's some there's a problem with their rent there's a problem with their health the banks are after them they have just lost their car. They have just lost this. A lot of them are going downhill. That is because those individuals, people I can guarantee you, those people are paying for the karma. They are paying for the things that they have done to other individuals before you. Now you coming in, you are the one now intercepting and in interrupting that karma. You are interrupting the karma. Look very closely, guys. Most of the, most of the individuals you meet, they are not in for relationships, for serious relationships. A lot of individuals you meet, they are in for help. And I can guarantee you, as soon as you pick them from the floor, because a lot, of, a lot of them, they have already fallen face flat on the floor. The very moment you pick them up from the floor, individuals, toxic individuals, guys, and those energy vampires, you pick them from the floor, you bring them back up, you find them jobs, you dress them well, you pay their house rent, you take care of them, you feed them properly, the very moment they get themselves back up, they are going to start stepping all over you. And that is exactly when now, you're going to give them back their power and now they're going to use that same pattern they've already done already done before and they're going to start destroying you so a lot of times that, that's the video which i'm going to do next is going to be like whenever you rise there is um, a person falling on the other side so you guys prepare for that video you should watch out for that video this is because most of the times the chosen ones you help a lot of individuals and you lose yourselves in the process of helping these so-called energy vampires and in that process guys you lose yourselves you give them a lot of energy, you give, you give them a lot of power, finances, money, and everything, support. They get themselves back up together, and now they use that, that energy that you give them to start destroying you. You who has even rescued them from the pit. They, they now start turning around, they will turn around and start destroying you. And before you know it, that destruction will go on for years. Because let me tell you something, a, a, an energy vampire will never leave you. There's one thing with these individuals, those energy vampires, they will never leave you. If they know that they have got a lot to lose, they still have a place to stay, you know, they're going to be staying for free, sleeping for free. They know that they have everything to lose. A lot of them, they will never leave you until they know that they have exhausted all the options and they have drained you dry of everything. That's when they will now start to leave you. So look, at, look, look out in the beginning of these entanglements and relationships, guys. Look out, in the, look out especially at the beginning. Normally, these things happen at the beginning. A person who is, into a, who, who is looking for a good relationship, a normal stable relationship, those are supposed to be independent individuals. They have got their own work. They are not going to come, in, come around in the relationship and start crying to you about their, their own bills, unpaid bills and things like that. Independent individuals who are already working, they are already self-sustaining. They are taking care of themselves. Those are the guys they are ready for relationships. A lot of these individuals, you meet them in the beginning, guys, take, closer, take a closer look at the people that you're trying to get into relationships with and friendships. Take a closer look and see exactly what are they exactly needing. Most of those individuals, they are already working in the karma. They are suffering and they're now paying for so many things that they have done to a lot of individuals. And you, as an empath who is trying to save the whole world, you're coming in and you're now intercepting that karma. You're interrupting their karma. So a lot of them... You people ask yourselves the questions, why do those guys never, never get the karma? They destroy you, they move to the next one very quickly.
They destroy that one. They move to the next one very quickly. That's what Nazis do. They jump from victim to victim and they destroy a whole line of individuals. And a lot of individuals ask themselves, why those guys, they never get their karma? Like I've seen, I've seen recently in my comments, you know. That is because that a lot of those individuals, before they get their karma, they cling on to somebody very quickly before the karma kicks in because they want to be in a secure place when that karma kicks in. So they want, they want to make sure that actually they are running away. A lot of them, they are running away from the karma because they know that they're going to be punished for the things they have done. So a lot of them, what, a lot of them, what they do now, they go and cling on to other individuals very quickly the so-called new sources of supply, and those individuals now, they are going to go back from the beginning and repeat the same cycle that you've done. But still, at the end of the day, I can guarantee you that there is something what they call karma, you can never run away from it. It does not matter how, you, how far you run. The karma may even find you in a new relationship. It may even find you in the new relationship. You may have to pay for the things you've done, those toxic individuals, in that new relationship and situationships that they get involved with. So I don't, I don't really empaths who have left them. Do not worry about what is going to happen to them, you know. When is the karma going to kick in? Those comments I've been seeing recently. They are suffering. They are there somewhere, somewhere suffering. And those toxic individuals, the narcissists, they are somewhere enjoying with a new boyfriend, with a new girlfriend. They are going on holidays. They are doing this and they are doing that. That is because you are too concerned to check on them what they are doing. You're not, keeping the, you're not keeping the rule of the no contact, so you're keeping on tagging them and checking what they are doing. That's why you don't see the karma happening, because you are very much interested in what, what they are doing and what, what, what their life is all about. You're supposed to focus on yourself. Move forward and focus on yourself. Don't look for karma. Guys, I've continuously told you in my videos, do not look for karma. That karma will get back to them at the right time. It may take a year or two, it may take three years, but don't start counting years when you left, when you left a narcissist and then you start counting when are they going to get the karma. It's not you who generates that karma, it's God who generates that karma. You know? It gets back to them. They like it or they don't. But the main aim of this video, guys, because I don't want to really um, get away from the subject, the main aim of this video is to be very careful in the beginning of those unexplainable entanglements, you know, you get involved with people and the only thing they are doing is crying for you, crying for you all their problems. What they have and haven't done. Their areas. Their sicknesses, their health conditions, their bills. Meet a person who is self-sufficient. Those people, they should be self-sufficient. They should be already happy within themselves. They should not be looking for somebody to, to, to complete them and to give them happiness. They should already be happy within themselves by themselves. Those are the guys. Those are the guys you are going to find. They have got no karma behind them, and they're ready for friendships or even sometimes relationships. But those individuals who come around and cry for you, those individuals, they are already suffering. They are already drowning. They are already suffocating. And you're the only one coming around and interrupting that process of karma, and getting into the way. And now, th that that process of karma, the karma is now delayed. When you interrupt that process. The karma that they're supposed to be facing is now delayed by another couple of years. And that's how, that's how it works with the toxic individuals. So guys, in this video, let me know what you think about this uh, in the comment section. Guys, I always, you know, I love and appreciate your support. I'll get back to you in my next one. There's more signing out. And I'll catch you soon.